I thought, you know what, I talk to these treasurers all the time, and I've been doing it for 20 years, and actually, can hand on heart, say I've never got bored, because they, you know, I, I even say it on the podcast that sometimes that, you know, they they all have the same job title. You know, you might have a hundred treasurers in a room, and I did this when I spoke in Chicago, and I said, you guys are all treasure professionals. You do exactly the same thing with exactly the same tools in exactly the same way with the same number of people in the you know the team, and they all looked at me like I'd gone mad, and they were like, that's not it, Mike. I went, I know, I've not gone mad. That's what's fascinating to me, that they all do it in a different way. A lot of them have the same tools to use. They all do it very differently. And actually, the stories they have to tell are therefore very interesting and very intrinsically interesting in themselves. They're interesting, you know, finance guys and everything else. And, you know, and that's one of the key things for it. I just thought, do you know what? Um, I should I should share their stories. It's not about you. It's about them. And it's like, don't talk about yourself. That will come over anyway. But what my, you know, key to the success, and I, why I love doing the podcast and it's launched our business a lot further and lots more people know about it is because they know that we know the people they want. You know, we know the global treasury community. So, you know, we're recruiting the number of roles across the US because they actually know that we know those treasurers firsthand. And we yeah. actually, the you know, they're in all in our back pocket. And I'm following their careers, whether they're treasury managers earlier on, or global treasurers wanting the next move, or wanting to recruit. We know them, so it, it's it's brought that to life, really, and that's the key thing. What the podcast has also given me is like helped to develop my brain and my thinking and my listening skills. I've got so much better in the past, you know, less than a year, and actually that's been fantastic. You know, that's really given me an extra dimension when i'm talking to treasurers or talking to cfos i'm actually quite relaxed i'm much more relaxed with it now because yeah i've got this you know and that's what it's given me that it's given gives you a, a fresh confidence because you really know your subject matter as well which it was that was a byproduct rather than the main thing and i think actually you get the exposure in terms of the business it's just launched it into the stratosphere you know our u.s business is going incredibly well European, UK and Europe, very, very well. We, you know, we've got other events coming up this year I'm out in Luxembourg and doing uh, speaking in Boston at the end of the year as well at each of these treasury conferences. And actually, the you know, becoming a bit more of, oh, that's Mike. He has a, yep. you know, the podcast guy. Oh, we recruit recruits as well. Yeah, he's a person if you want the next best job. And they go, wow, it's amazing. And it, it, it's been it's been a very interesting, weird journey. 